Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. 2018 Fireballs here, back with another MLB 9 Innings 23 video. We're back with the showcasing series in today's video. And as always, if you guys want to be part of the showcasing series, don't forget to do three things. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel, leave a comment down below with your team name requesting to be showcased. And then last but not least, don't forget to send a friend request to my alternate team, Laddie Boy. But with all that said and done, let's get straight into today's video and the three new teams that we will be reviewing. So the first team we have up in today's video is Kubanaz, and I do want to apologize, bro. I am so sorry for taking so long to get your team. I know you were one of the first people to request, and I just didn't get your friend request right away. And I was, uh, it was on my, my, my part. I forgot to check my friend request, and I didn't see your name, so I want to apologize for that. But without further ado, I am getting finally to your team today, so let's get straight into the batting order. Let's start off with your leadoff hitter, and it is a Paul Carnerico 2010 Prime. Awesome power, just looking at it right away. And the train is amazing. 21 to power, 14 to eye, 12 to contact, only 10 to the right side. Perfect train right there. Can't say much more. Bad ball hitter, batting machine, and table setter level 2. Table setter is great for a leadoff hitter. Batting machine is also awesome because he'll get on base a lot more. And bad ball hitter is a great legend skill. Other than pioneer, it's the best legend skill. So. I wouldn't change anything about this card. This should get on base a lot and should be a great uh, setup hitter for the 2, 3, 4, and 5 hitters. So keep him the way he is. Don't change his train. I think these skills are perfect. The only thing that would be you know, better is if it had higher levels, but you can only do so much with a card, and this will do just fine as a leadoff man. Batting second in your lineup is an Eloy Jimenez 2020 Black Diamond card. Love to see Black Diamond Sigs on any team. 11 to the right side, another excellent train, great job at going I1, 18 to I, 17 to power, 11 to contact, that 64 base I needs a lot of help, and it's very balanced out, as you guys can see here on his stats, 132 I, 153 power, 137 contact, love to see that. Slugger Instinct barrel it up and Charisma, great job at going Slugger Instinct and Charisma to level 7 and 8, rather than barrel it up, he does not hit the barrel it up bonus, um, actually he does technically hit the barrel it up bonus, but it will get nerfed by last boss, so you're honestly much better going with high uh, uh, increasing Slugger Instinct and Charisma. It's high levels already anyway, so it should perform well. And uh, interesting decision to go Slugger Instinct level 8. Uh, he does have a lot of power, so I can understand that. A lot of people prefer Charisma, but I could see you going either way. And either, either way, I think it's correct. So excellent card and excellent skills. No complaints about this card. It's basically perfect. Third in the lineup is a Jose Abreu 2020, his MVP year. He also just got a prime for this year, so you may consider an upgrade if you want to, you know, go for the team team prime instead, or you may land a signature of his, who knows. But looking at the card, you went 12 to the right side on the train. Excellent again. I1 is perfect with that low 66 base eye, 14 power, and then 14 contact. Special training lines up perfectly. Spotlight Charisma in ain't over yet. Not the perfect skill set, but an excellent one nonetheless. Charisma level 8 is way better in my opinion than Spotlight level 8. And it ain't over yet isn't a terrible skill uh, if your team is losing. Only thing that would be better is if he had a Legend skill set and a 3-3-3 set. So you can definitely work on that for the future. Or like I said, you could wait until you get a better card of his, whether that be his Prime card or a Signature card. But excellent third batter in the lineup you have right there. Fourth is an AJ Przinski 2012. Uh, a new addition to the game, not really new actually, he's been in the game for maybe about a year or so, but again, excellent, only 13 to the right side, so I see your trains are going up and up, you went 10, 11, 12, and now it's 13, hopefully it doesn't get much higher than that, 13 is basically the border for a end game team, 20 to I though, again, excellent, I can't critique this, this is amazing, he has high power already, and you went power 2, then contact 3, then skills, looks like you're working with him on green tickets, so I won't judge this, Bad ball hitter, pinch hit specialist, leg day two. Hopefully that pinch hit specialist gets changed to a gold, uh, so you don't have to use a skill reset ticket, but keep working on him. Get green tickets. Honestly, best case scenario for him is if you got Charisma or Spotlight or Slugger Instinct because he has higher power and he's definitely not hitting the barrel it up bonus. Batting Machine wouldn't be terrible as a third if you got it at level two, but definitely just keep using greens on him. His train is excellent and yeah, keep working on him. He's going to be a really nice catcher card. For a White Sox team. I'm pretty sure he's the best catcher for the White Sox. Fifth in the lineup is a Wade Boggs 87 uh, Legend card. Wish I had this on my Red Sox team. 
nine to the right side so your trains reverted back to excellent this is actually lower than paul canerco so props to you on that you went power one i2 or contact two actually and then i third his i is already super high so you can go either way contact two or i doesn't really matter and then the skills bad ball hitter professional training junkie so again another another card that you're working with on green tickets and i understand green tickets are hard to come by so no pressure no sweat as they come use them i would personally use them on bogs first since he is a legend and this is a triple three skill set hopefully you can land slugger instinct charisma um even barrel it up would be a decent skill even though he doesn't hit the max bonus with 240 speed plus contact uh, but ideally you would want charisma spotlight or slugger instinct so just like Brzezinski, keep working on greens uh, don't change the train unless you want to go for higher eye uh, I prefer I being second on a card and the stats are so close, but that's totally up to you. Nine to the right side is nothing to sneeze at at all. So excellent card. Once again, haven't seen a bad card yet in this lineup. Sixth is a Tim Anderson 2018. Not quite sure which year is his best year, but I can assure you this is probably one of his better years. Uh, 68 base overall. Again, very low I. So much like Tampa Bay teams, uh, White Sox, I've noticed, especially with this team, have low eye cards so your training is spot on 13 to the right side 17 eye 14 power 13 contact spotlight charisma prediction prediction like i've said before in my opinion is a very underrated skill and a third skill at that it gets um higher on base percentage and ranked and this card would definitely benefit from that spotlight and charisma he's gonna hit quite a few home runs and i don't know if this is his best card like i said so you could take him the black diamond i personally wouldn't uh, and he's in up condition right now, so his power is actually only at 119, contact's 114, and I is 110. So honestly, pretty low stats. You may want to look for a better Tim Anderson if there is one, uh, or look for a signature. Not sure if the White Sox have any better shortstops. Not too knowledgeable about their team. I see you do have an Elvis Andrews on the bench. I know you guys can see it. It's behind my camera, but I'm pretty sure Andrews is not better than Garcia. Just taking a peek at him actually uh sorry andrews is not better than anderson uh but it looks like he is according to base stats that feeling is a bit high but uh it's a give and take either one is it could work out but totally up to you who you want to put in the lineup anderson has uh, excellent skills already and skills pay the bills in this game so honestly you're probably better off having him in rather than andrews uh who has only charisma and slugger no third so yeah, I think that's a perfect decision, and I personally would just look for a better shortstop, better Tim Anderson. Hopefully, he has better years where he has better eye. Who knows? Seventh in the lineup is an Ava Sayil Garcia, 2017, his best year with the White Sox. Great grade increase distribution to contact and power uh, with the low fielding and speed that he has on his base stats. 13 to the right side, insane. 23 to power. Pretty much on par with that 24 grade increase to eye. That's incredible. And then you went I2 contact third obviously contact doesn't need a lot of stats since it already has high grade increase distribution and then i2 uh you could have gone i1 but that 23 power is just beautiful he may struggle to hit home runs because of the, because of the low i so that's just something to be careful about spotlight and barrel it up i have heard that spotlight comes into better effect if you have 120 i so I don't know it's difficult with this card you could upgrade him to black diamond max out his special training and get him to have higher stats uh, or you may want to consider skill changing him charisma slugger instinct might be the best case scenario for him just because he will probably not hit 120 i uh with uh, another good train and i don't think you want to get rid of this so i would suggest a skill change on him barrel it up is definitely not going to be uh achieved either so look for Slugger Instinct and Charisma in a second skill slot storage, or you could even take him to Black Diamond and then try and look for Pat, Bad Ball Hitter or Pioneer and a uh, with Charisma, Slugger Instinct, Spotlight, and that would be endgame for him. So that would be my suggestion for this card. I believe this is his best year with the White Sox, so definitely keep him in the lineup. Cesar Hernandez, 2021, is the eighth batter in your lineup, 13 to the right side, so... Every train, on, as far as I've seen, has been on point. Again, I is the lowest stat, so you went with I1. No problems with that. Power 2, Contact 3. Excellent. Barrel it up, Slugger Instinct Prediction. Uh, barrel it up, you don't, hit, you don't hit the bonus, but I think it's just as good as Batting Machine. Honestly, even though you don't hit the bonus. So Slugger Instinct Prediction, barrel it up. Keep special training him, by the way. He's not done yet, so I see you're working on that. 
uh keep working on it and get these skills to level seven prediction again like i said underrated third skill this skill set should perform decently even though he's only a normal card his stats aren't going to be incredibly high but i think this might be the best second baseman for the white Sox. again correct me if i'm wrong uh yohan moncada i might have a second base card that's better uh, i'm not sure this 2022 card that he has on the bench is a third base card and it's not the greatest his 21 or 20 might be better i don't know that's just my speculation but cesar hernandez seems like an excellent card to have his base stats are great his skills are good keep him in as long as you can until you can replace him with a better card or take him to black diamond and choose what to do uh what you will with him finally batting ninth is a luis robert 2020 card believe this is his great uh his greatest or best card uh worst train out of the bunch so every train was 13 or lower this one is 16 to the right side and you went contact one i2 power three slugger instinct barrel it up not sure if you're keeping him in keeping him in the lineup or trying to replace him with someone else i wouldn't honestly since he has such great power but just like every other white Sox card low eye so you know what to do with this card train for high eye power two contact three and then go for charisma slugger instinct you know a good skill set this is decent but barrel it up is definitely not going to be hit on him with the type of speed that he has and the contact even at black diamond he won't hit the max bonus so your best case scenario is slugger instinct and charisma i'm not going to really tell you what to do with this card you know what to do you have it on all your other cards just keep up the good work and keep developing and then i notice you don't have black diamond cards on the bench so you could definitely work towards getting batter's chemistry as well let's get into the rotation now though starting off in your um ace position or your first position in the starting rotation is a don sutton legend looking at his train perfect right here four to stamina 15 location 15 to break and four to uh 12 to velocity special training lines up location one break two and velocity three you don't have finesse pitcher though uh fireball or pitching machine cleaning up your mess so this is another candidate for a green ticket just because mess isn't active when it's uh it's only active after you allow a base runner and the ideal is having active skills that are active throughout the entire game like finesse pitcher last boss and dominant pitcher so definitely keep using greens when you have them uh, i would personally line up your greens to be used sutton first boggs and then aj Przinski. i wouldn't um i would do starting pitching first because pitching is vital in this game pitching machine isn't a terrible second but mess is just uh, it's so crucial to have that second or uh, third skill that's active at all times. Mess is a great third skill, but I wouldn't consider it a second skill. So just with this card, look for Finesse Pitcher. Since you've trained for Finesse, he hits the bonus. And I hope you can ha uh, land Finesse Pitcher on this with a green ticket. Second in the rotation is a Black Diamond Mark Burley, 2005. Low uh, velocity card, but good job with the train. Uh, six to stamina is good and 16 of velocity uh definitely helps so we went velocity one location two and break third skills boss and finesse he still does get the finesse pitcher bonus even with velocity one he just has that low velocity it's 10 lower than location so excellent job getting the finesse bonus uh, only thing that would be better of course if it is if he had a legend skill so you can definitely work on that if you have premiums down the line and look for a slow starter skill set cooperative pitching um even a control master or a fireballer skill set would be nice on this card to help with that velocity so great card right there moving third in the rotation is a lucas giolito 2020 i'm most confident this is his best year unless 2021 or 2022 are better i might be thinking of carlos rodon though so i think this is giolito's best year five to stamina you went location one break two velocity third and that velocity is still super high with the base stats so no worries about going third on that finesse untouchable giant crusher uh you do hit the finesse bonus really easily actually and great job at getting that break higher than the fastball that's actually a very difficult thing to do uh it being six points higher than break so great job getting the finesse pitcher bonus only thing again that would be better is if you had a legend skill set but like i said with uh, mark burley you can work on that later down the line this card where it's at is practically perfect chris sale 2014 is your fourth starter in the rotation surprised to see him fourth uh being such a good card 74 base only two to stamina wow okay haven't seen a train like this on a starting pitcher in quite a while uh two to stamina is honestly a very hard thing to come by and you went velocity one break two location three interesting decision 
Not sure if the amps lined up that way or you just weren't able to get location two. Let's take a look at the skills. Untouchable cooperative pitching and cleaning up your mess. A good legend skill set. Not the greatest, but it works. It's 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 usable. And then untouchable is a good uh, second skill to have. I don't understand why people don't think untouchable is great. I think it works just fine. Cleaning up your mess is a great third. And then, yeah, so the train is excellent. I wouldn't change this. It's just sad to see that that break takes that second uh, special training points rather than location. I uh, would really like to see the location higher. You don't have finesse pitcher, but you would still hit the bonus if you did land finesse pitcher. So you could eventually look for a better legend skill set, that being slow starter or control master or fireballer. So that's later down the line, though. I would definitely work on giolito and burley first chris sale with that legend skill should do fine and i understand why he's fourth he has this great train but it's not lined up perfectly and the skill set is amazing but it is not perfect so i understand totally having him in the fourth spot in the rotation fifth is a dylan cease 2022 his best year he had a great year last year with the white Sox. got a great card again excellent train five is stamina he went location two velocity one and fastball third great job and then dominant pitcher with last boss you do get the dominant pitcher bonus with that uh lower uh break to the train that uh and, he, and you wow well, perfect you went location two you still got the bonus so honestly can't ask for anything much better again unless you get a legend skill set and then again he's only a normal card so looks like you're buying sigs and getting new sigs uh quite frequently so i would just wait until you possibly get a signature card to replace him hopefully it's a dylan cease or a carlos rodon sig uh, that would be the best case scenario. Uh, so definitely keep him in the lineup as long as you can until you can replace him with a SIG card. Or eventually down the line, if you don't end up pulling another SIG pitcher, uh, use premium skill change tickets on him and look for that legend skill set. Getting into the bullpen though, you have an Alex Colome 2020. A great year with the White Sox uh, that he had. I believe as a sub-1 ERA. Yes, it does. And you have basically a... Oh wow, this is a great skill set. Finesse pitcher is an S-tier skill. Setup man, cleaning up your mess. Uh, Mess is an okay third for relief pitchers, would like to see that as winning streak or even last boss, but it works just fine. And then the, the train is a little wonky, uh, would like to see that velocity higher because that will give him, uh, make him susceptible to home runs. Looks like you do hit the bonus though, yeah you definitely hit the bonus even though you only have, uh, you have two, subtracted two from here because fastball's higher, but you still hit the bonus. Uh, I would honestly go around and retraining this. It is seven to stamina, just a tad bit high on relievers. I like to get picky and go for six stamina or less, or even five stamina or less. But that's totally up to you. He has a great skill set. Definitely keep the skill set. It's perfect for the setup role. Uh, just the train could be adjusted later down the line. Of course, when you have the resources and when you want to. Second setup man is a Bobby Jenks 07 card. Uh, great train right here. Uh, stamina is just a tad bit high and break. Uh, with the base stats is already high, so not terrible to see that only having three points to development But really honestly would have liked to seen that switch with stamina three stamina instead of eight stamina But you can only do so much uh, Like I was saying age of stamina though is just a tad bit high would like to see that lower But 21, velo 21 velocity is excellent 14 to fastball is great and then 11 location third You're working on special training on maxing it maxing it out. So keep on doing that skill set finesse dom touch Keep the skill set. Let me know how it does. I have Dom, Boss, and Touch, and it doesn't do really well in the higher levels of Ranked. He gets clobbered for whatever reason. I don't know. It's actually a higher level skill set than this two, just by one. Uh, Untouchable is at level three. But Finesse Pitcher might make the whole difference, because Finesse Pitcher is an S-tier skill. It's the best skill you can have on any Relief Pitcher. So let me know how this does, and keep on working for the bonus. Uh, looks like you're trying for the Dom bonus, so if you do end up taking him the Black Diamond, go for finesse pitcher level eight so you can get the most out of finesse pitcher while still getting the dom bonus uh that's all i have to say for this card though maybe do a retrain in the future for lower stamina uh but again i can understand it's hard to train for dom on this card uh i would honestly try to train for finesse though just because finesse pitcher is the better skill and then you know have dom secondary but that's just my opinion and i think most of the community would agree with me that finesse pitcher going uh for that kind of train would be easier on this card and would definitely be uh, more effective, uh, even though he has lower velocity. So retraining for Finesse Pitcher with uh, as much velocity as you can would be a good option. But enough of me babbling on about Jenks. Getting on to your middle relievers, Nate Jones, 2013. Pretty sure he had some better years than this. Uh, 2017, 2015, maybe. I don't know. I actually have a couple of his cards since he is retired now. 
or just not active not sure where he went but six to stamina great train 18 velocity 17 to fastball nine to location so it goes velocity one fastball two location three skills dominant pitcher and last boss good enough for a middle reliever would like to see fixer though but it should do just fine he's only a 64 base so there may be better relief pitchers to replace him with in the future is something you could look forward to uh but keep the train uh keep special training him when you can definitely get other higher tier cards uh, special training before him though since he isn't the greatest relief pitcher and i think the skill set should do just fine second middle reliever is a tapera 2021 an excellent relief pitcher for the white Sox. uh high right side train surprising right here uh would definitely like to see that switched around to the left side but uh let's see the skills on the back of him boss and untouchable not the greatest not the worst though so uh definitely okay for middle reliever middle relievers i kind of tend to think you know doesn't have to have the best skill set in the world uh you can honestly experiment with a lot in middle relief because you're in a losing game and you're most likely not coming back after you're down by like three or four runs especially in later uh higher ranks in the rank battle so uh definitely you can experiment with this i would personally retrain him for higher left side and then since he has only boss and untouchable a left side train generic to the left uh, generic left side train will do just fine on him so that'd be my suggestion just to retrain and maybe even looking for skills, fixer, last boss, finesse pitcher, um, win, uh, winning streak, touchable. You could you could move them around. I don't know what you want to do, but that would be my suggestion for this card. Just looking for some new skills and then playing around with the train for more to the left side. JJ puts 2010. This is another great card for any White Sox team. Uh, 10 of stamina. Again, he's the last middle reliever, so not to worry about him. Uh, special training goes velocity one, fastball two, stamina, and he's at level 20 skills finesse and dominant pitcher i honestly think this would perform better in the middle relief role than to para's boss and untouchable so you may consider switching them around but again experiment see how they do if they don't work out well if they have like four eras five eras at the end of the week in, in rank battle definitely change their skills tweak them around with their trains because yeah this is definitely way too much stamina on him and he is a top tier white Sox relief pitcher so you want to make him better um, and honestly, Tapera and Puts, eventually I would say look to replace them with Nate Jones and slide Nate Jones into the back of the rotation uh, to where Puts is. So that would be my suggestion for those cards. Long relief roll is an Aaron Bummer 2019, uh, one of his better years with the White Sox. Train, not too worried about it. Finesse and Boss, actually a great, uh, good skill set. So honestly, all four of these cards you could do much better with and throw them around depending on who you want to retrain first. Uh, they're all around the same level overall, 66, 67, 66, and 64. I would just try to get the better overall cards towards the front of the middle relief spots, like Puts and Bummer. Bummer's the highest overall, so you could probably work on him. And Boston uh, Finesse Pitcher is honestly the best skill set, in my opinion, out of all these skill sets that these guys have uh, between Jones and Bummer. So uh, I would personally move Bummer into the higher middle relief role. But it's totally up to you. This is this is just me spilling my opinion. But I think Bummer would definitely perform better than some of these other cards here. Uh, he could use a retrain too, definitely. Uh, you know the deal. Go for location, velocity, and hit that finesse pitcher bonus as you can. Uh, finally, last but not least, in your closer role is a David Robertson 2015. He also has a signature for this year. Maybe out of the game soon. I'm not sure if he's playing next year or this upcoming season. Uh, you can look that up for yourself, but... Great train, 4 to stamina, perfect for a closer, 16 location, 16 velocity, 12 to break, finesse and control master, I think that's a great skill set for a closer, only thing that would honestly be better is if it were triple threes and you had winning streak and setup man, but hey, this is great, this is fine, in, this, in the closer role, he should be lights out, and as a black diamond card, I think he did a great job doing him justice with the train and the skills, so all that said, great team overall. Don't see too many good White Sox teams, and you're at 110.6 overall. So definitely work on and look uh, forward to getting chemistry. Uh, honestly, I would Black Diamond Nate Jones and go for chemistry on him. Or if you have a Legend Relief pitcher in the backups, Black Diamond him and throw him into the, the Long Relief role and look for pitcher's chemistry, batter's chemistry. Uh, you can Black Diamond any of these uh, cards they have on the bench, Andrews, Moncada, Pollock or Garcia, uh, Rendon, just because he's not a team card, wouldn't bother with him. So look for batter's chemistry, look for pitcher's chemistry, tweak a few trains here and there, uh, definitely you, uh, redo Robert's train, and then try to fill out that fifth spot in the rotation 
with a signature card if you can or a special card and then basically working on the bullpen is your biggest um biggest issue right now but i wouldn't make it first because you know you want to make the starting rotation best first and then work your way into the bullpen that's my thoughts on your team thank you for so much for letting me review it i hope you uh were enlightened by the words that i spoke on your team and let me know in the comment section down below what you plan on doing with the team and if there's anything else that i need to know but again thank you for letting me review your team and let's now move on to the second team in today's video all right so next team we have up for today's video is aiden thompson 06 he runs a free-to-play cardinals team at 100.4 overall with a st louis s set deck and a diamond s set deck and apparently yadi or molina and wayno are his uh, favorite duo and like i said he's a free to play team and his team is looking pretty good for a free to play cardinals team let's get into the lineup batting and leading off is a y yadier molina 2019 I don't, I don't know how often you see yadier molina leading off in this game but it's not often so interesting decision to put yadier molina in lead off uh, looking at the train 17 to the right side is just a bit high i would go ahead and retrain that with cards uh, for batters when you train them you want to look for uh, 13 or less to the right side uh, that being 13 or less to speed and fielding and most of the points going to the left side to power eye and contact with this card i would suggest a train for high eye and then power second and then contact third because that's just how the base stats line up you want to have eye to be better and then power and then contact is the highest base stats so you want contact to round off third in the special training points department Looking at the skills though, Master Base Thief, Batting Machine, Charisma, honestly not the worst skill set for a leadoff man. I can understand with Master Base Thief, when he gets on base, he's going to affect the starting pitcher and he's going to nerf some stats unless he has cleaning up your mess. But totally understand what you're doing here. I would personally just retrain him, keep the skills, keep him in the leadoff role. I definitely go for high eye, uh, I one, power two, and then contact three with special training. And that'd be my suggestion for this card. Hopefully you can pull a SIG of his uh that's probably not likely being a free-to-play team but hey with the new sig packs and clubcraft who knows anything can happen second in the lineup is a nolan arenado 21 sig now this is a beautiful card don't get to see this card that often um beautiful train wow excellent 10 to the right side so uh this puts molina molina to shame honestly this is a beautiful train 18 to power 15 i and then 14 contact great, great job at going i second since it is a lower uh, base stat than contact and power and then um, yeah special training basically lines up perfectly continue to special train him and max that out uh, skill set born to be a star spotlight five tool player born to be a star i've heard is not the greatest skill set i've personally never got uh to use born to be a star uh it increases all stats and the chances of getting hit will increase as there are more runners on base so honestly if i were to use born to be a star it would be for a player at the bottom of the lineup, and it would be for a uh, not-so-good batter. So, with Arenado, definitely go for a different Legend skill set, and I would personally aim for Pioneer or Bad Ball Hitter, uh, and look for a second or third skill to be Spotlight, Charisma, Slugger, Instinct. Kind of like this, 5-2 uh, player is not the uh, greatest skill, uh, but I wonder how that works with Born to be the Star, uh, Born to be a Star, adding stats. I wonder what 5-2 player does. I wonder how much that increases his stats, so... That's interesting just for me to, to think about, but definitely look for Bad Ball Hitter or Pioneer. And then for secondary and third skills, look for Charisma, Spotlight, Slugger, Instinct, Bagging Machine, and Barrel It Up wouldn't be a bad third skill either. But this is an excellent card. Keep the train. Just look for that endgame skill set with a Legend skill. And make sure it's high levels too. Don't forget about that. Third in the lineup is an Albert Pujols 03 signature card. Honestly, you can't go wrong with any of his sigs. They are all amazing. 13 to the right side, great job with that train. 19 to power, 14 to eye, 11 to contact. Special training is perfect. Eye going second again is what you want to do. Spotlight slugger, heavy hitter. Oh my goodness, this is... I can assure you, and I'm pretty sure he hits a lot of home runs in rank battle, just judging by that skill set. So keep this skill set. And in the second skill slot storage, look for a legend skill set. Look for pioneer or bad ball hitter. That's the only thing that would make this card better. And my goodness, I need to know how many home runs he hits. Let me know in the comments section, section down below how many home runs he hits per week in rank battle. Because heavy hitter increases slugging, spotlight increases slugging, and slugger instinct increases slugging. So all, all skills increase slugging percentage. So he must hit tons of home runs. Let me know again in the comments section uh, down below. But yeah, just the only suggestion for this card is looking for that legend skill set 
with those good second and third skills. Fourth in the lineup is a Goldschmidt 2022 card. Pretty sure this is his best year with the Cardinals. He had an MVP type season, so I don't think you can get much better than this for a Cardinals first baseman, uh, unless it's Pujols, but you have Pujols in the DH role already. Anyway, 16 to the right side, a bit high, just like the Cardinals, uh, the SIGs that you have, sorry, Arenado and Pujols, you want to look for 13 or less to the right side on this train, so that you can retrain it in the future. It looks like you're working on him, but I would definitely retrain for 13 or less since Goldschmidt is an endgame Cardinals card. Then the skills, Charisma, Batting Machine, Slugger, Instinct. Hey, that's a great skill set right there. If that is a 3-3-3, three, 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 um, I would... That's, a, that's impressive, but if it's a 3-2-3, three, three, uh, just keep the skills the way they are. Great job at maxing uh, Slugger and Charisma. And when you take the skills to Diamond, this card is going to look great. So just redo the train and keep the skills the way they are. And this card is going to rake for you in rank battle. Fifth is in your DH spot. Actually, oh, Pujols is playing left field. Okay, that makes sense. I didn't know he had a left field option for that year. But I was wondering, like, who is DHing? So Elitimus Diaz is DHing his 2016 card. This is his only good year with the Cardinals. And he's only at level 10 out of 10. Uh, through level 10, when you train, I personally like to look for 5 or less to the right side. Just to be... Um, precise i know things can happen even though it's 10 to the right side he may end up getting all left side but what are the chances i just like to look for five or less to the right side through level 10 that's my opinion on trains and i think it works the most effectively skills though barrel it up slugger instinct batting machine another great three gold skill set i would personally increase slugger instinct batting machine to level seven uh barrel it up is not going to be hit so uh, i think batting machine will definitely make this card better than better if barrel it up were at level seven so I would upgrade the skills that way, keep upgrading him, keep training him. This is a great Cardinals card. I'm not sure if there's any better cards to put at DH, uh, but if you end up pulling one, then I would definitely replace him since he's only at level 10. Uh, but yeah, keep him in the lineup and keep developing those skills and his train. Sixth is a Paul DeYoung 2019 card. I believe this is his best year for the Cardinals, even though he has that incredibly high fielding. Um, looks like you went all out with that fielding too, uh, special training wise. Uh, at level 20, he has 15 to contact, 13 to speed, 13 to field. Um, have fun with it, I guess. But if you want to make this card good, like I said with other cards, 13 or less to the right side is ideal. Skills, batting machine, slugger instinct, ace specialist. Uh, ace specialist is definitely an uh, underrated third skill, especially for normal cards for free-to-play teams. So keep this skill set, maximize batting machine, and slugger instinct. Um, if this is maxed out as it is, um, that's kind of sad to see. I would use a skill reset ticket and then, you know, make batting machine and slugger instinct level six so they can get the diamond when you finally finish special training him. But yeah, retrain is definitely in order and the skills uh, definitely make sure batting machine and slugger instinct get maxed out. Marcelo Zuna 2019. Pretty sure this is his best year with the Cardinals. Uh, again, train is off. Look for 13 or less to the right side. Uh, go for power one, I two and contact three. Since that I is above 70, I'd... Uh, say it, it's a, it's good to go with i second there and increase that power as much as you can skills slugger instinct prediction table setter definitely could use a better skill set so charisma slugger instinct spotlight batting machine barrel it up any combination of those would do well so for this card a retrain is definitely in order and then the rescaling is uh, something you can do in a second skill slot storage so great card just needs that adjustment on the training and the skills Colton Wong, 2019, just got a prime card for this year in the last update. Uh, 16 to the right side, a tad bit high. And then the special training lines of Contact 1, I2, Power 3. And with this card, with the low power, you're definitely going to want to go for higher power. So uh, a retrain like Mar Marcelo Zuna is definitely in order. So you want to go Power 1, I2, Contact 3. And then again, 13 or less to the right side. I won't try to repeat that too much. Uh, training Junkie Charisma Barrel It Up, not the worst skill set in the world. Uh, he's definitely not going to hit the barrel it up bonus though so uh maximize charisma and barrel it up definitely barrel it up is on par with batting machine uh if if you don't get batting machine barrel it up is a good substitute for it and then training junkie will definitely uh, help increase his batting stats uh since they are so low so yeah definitely keep the skills but just just do the retrain for power one i2 and contact three that would be my suggestion for colton wong Finally, and last in the lineup is a Carlson, Dylan Carlson, uh, 2021 card, Batting Machine Spotlight, good skills to have, and the train uh, can definitely be worked on. 16 to the right side, again, could retrain for less. There might be some better right fielders uh, in the game for the Cardinals, I don't know, not the most knowledgeable about Cardinals teams, 
but this Carlson seems to be a pretty decent enough card. If you were to train him, I would definitely go for I1, Power 2, Contact 3, just because that I is below 70 and he's a normal card, and then look for 13 or less to the right side. So keep the skills, uh, just redo the train. Lineup is looking really nice and honestly is better than a lot of teams that I've seen in the past, so great job with the batting order. Getting into the pitching rotation though, your ace is an Adam Wainwright 2010 Prime uh, train. A little bit high to stamina, I prefer six or sta six stamina or less, but eight is nothing to sneeze at with a free to play team. Uh, it's a good train still, you got the special training to line up, location one, velocity two, break three. Looks like a finesse pitcher train and you do have finesse pitcher. So fireballer, finesse and giant crusher. Uh, I would say blues are definitely in order for this. Great job at shorting fireballer but I would definitely look for something other than Giant Crusher. You may be working on that. Let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, but definitely, if you land Last Boss or Dom, this skill set is going to be crazy, or even Untouchable. If Untouchable is uh, what you land instead, this skill set is going to dominate in Ranked Battle and League Mode and all the game modes, no matter what you play. So uh, maybe just a retrain in the future for less, less to stamina. He already has high stamina. Uh, that's uh, optional, though. It's up to you. And then the skill set, definitely work on blues and look for that end game last and final skill. Second in the rotation is a Dick Hughes 67 card. I actually, this was my first ever vintage card I pulled back in 2018 on my Red Sox team. I remember that vividly. He was in my lineup for a long time, but that's a good memory of mine. Looking at this card though, 4 to stamina on the train, 20 to velocity. Great job getting that higher since it is a lower base stat. 13 location and then 10 to fastball gets the last special training points. Last boss and untouchable, not a bad skill set at all. And three for five specialist is a decent silver skill. Uh, definitely uh, not sure if you want to take him the black diamond. I would personally avoid taking the black diamond just because he's a vintage. And I think uh, other cards that are better out there, such as Flarity, I see that in your lineup. Flarity is better, um, but I have to look at the rest of your lineup. So I won't judge too quickly on this card. It's an excellent train for the stamina. That's I'm sorry if I'm understating how great that is. Four stamina is not an easy thing to do. And then last boss untouchable. Uh, great job at going for the standard left side train while getting high fastball and break. You do want to get those S tier pitches. So great job overall in this train. Uh, up to you if you want to take in the black diamond. I'll leave that in your hands. Third in the rotation is a Matt Morris Prime. Finesse Dom and cleaning up your mess. End game skill set right there. Uh, train again, excellent. Four to stamina, not an easy thing to do. Uh, so, hey, I mean, if you can get four stamina on Morris and on uh, Hughes, I don't see uh, any reason why it would be hard to get it on Wainwright, but that's up to you if you want to retrain him. 17 velocity, great job at getting that level one, uh, special training one, because he has low base stat velocity. 14 location and then 13 break, great job right there. And you do get the finesse pitcher bonus, looks, uh, looks like it, yep. So that's 10 plus five, actually, exactly. So when you take him to Black Diamond, uh, I would upgrade him. I would honestly take this card to Black Diamond because he only has a Prime card, doesn't have a Sig card. Take him to Black Diamond. And then when you do, since you do have the Finesse Pitcher bonus, take Dominant Pitcher to level 8. And the reason being is because while you do get the Finesse Pitcher bonus, you want to make sure Dominant Pitcher gets the most out of that skill. Uh, since you're already getting a Finesse bonus, if you go Dominant Pitcher level 8, it's kind of in a way getting a Dom bonus uh, with that extra points at level 8. And then mess as a third skill is great. It'll help your um, pitcher avoid getting nerfed if batters get on base and they have Master Base Thief or Charisma. So overall, end game card, end game train, end game skills. Yeah, I can't say much more than just take him the Black Diamond and then take Dominant Pitcher to level eight. Great third pitcher in the rotation. I'd argue that he's even better than Hughes, and you could switch him, but. Depending on how his stats end up in ranked, that's uh, something you observe and something only you see, so you make the call on that. Fourth in the rotation, Jack Flaherty 2019. Like I said about this card, this card is amazing. Stamina is lower, fastball, break, and velocity are high. Uh, sorry, fastball location and velocity are high. Five to stamina, awesome train. Again, 19 location, 14 break, 13 velocity. It looks like a finesse pitcher train, finesse and untouchable, great skill set, power pitcher actually will affect um, the finesse pitcher bonus at level three so that's kind of unfortunate and by the looks of it uh, you haven't special trained him yet so i think at max special training you should be safe um i'm not going to do the math in my head right now my math is slow 
but if you do special training maxed out and even at black diamond he should still get the bonus even with power pitcher so keep the skills keep the train keep upgrading him and i don't know if the math lines up but if it does keep the skill set and keep the train if the math doesn't line up you know once you get him the black diamond if you plan on taking him the black diamond look for a legend skill set and then you may end up retraining him uh or you may not end up with power pitcher so it won't throw it off so uh work him up the way he is and keep on developing him just get that special training be the main focus on this card carlos martinez 2016 a great starting pitcher card unfortunately he's out of the game right now but you got him to level 20 uh, he's at 17 out of 20 right now so his train is not finished uh based on the skills dominant pitcher iron will inning eater so yeah i would not finish this train yet dom iron will inning eater is a uh, looks like a good gold skill set looks like a good triple three golds but iron will inning, inning eater don't do much dominant pitcher is okay but it's not end game by itself so definitely look for a better skill set look for dom boss and finesse top three skills and mess and untouchable look for any of those skills combined and then get them on this card and based on those skills then you can finish the train i uh, most likely won't get the finesse pitcher bonus unless you go top heavy on break and location i think it still might be possible but it's going to be pretty close so definitely work on this card with the skills and then based on those skills finish the train Getting into the bullpen is a Ryan Helsley 2022 as your setup man. This is an incredible relief pitcher card. 77 base velocity and fastball is just beautiful. And then the train again, 5 to stamina. Very consistent with these trains so far on all your pitchers. Uh, just besides Wainwright, but you know, Wainwright could be made better. Uh, sorry, I'll stop talking about Wainwright already. 15 location, 12 to velocity, 10 to break. Looks like that's how the special training rounds up. Finesse, setup man, pitching machine. Hey, and pitching machine is a great third skill to have. So with this train at 17 out of 20 i would finish this train uh definitely go for um you're definitely gonna have to go for break and uh location first and second so i'll finish off with something like uh location three uh break three and then maybe a uh, two more location and one to velocity and then that should do just fine and when you special train him all the way up he'll get the finesse pitcher bonus with location one break two and then velocity getting the third points to special training but definitely keep this skill set if this is a triple three set that is amazing and you may even want to consider using blues on pitching machine so you can land last boss or winning streak and then this card is basically set in stone so great card he's gonna stay in your lineup he's basically i'm pretty sure this is the best relief pitcher for the cardinals so keep him there he's a great setup man giovanni gallegos 2021 card not fully trained yet at level 20 but the train is great so far uh, through level 14 just hopefully you don't get more stamina if you do i would suggest a retrain i i like to get picky with my trains to relieve pitchers with five or less to stamina so that's up to you though if you if you're fine with six or seven by all means keep the train but i like to get picky with it and make it as best as possible skill set though finesse mess touch definitely max out finesse and untouchable mess at level one or two should be great i um, not sure how well this does on relief pitchers i know finesse and touchable does well on starting pitchers uh but yeah definitely keep this skill set see how it does if it doesn't work out uh you may want to open up a skill slot storage look for something similar to helsley with setup man and finesse if you can um but yeah finesse is s tier and it's something or it's, it's the skill that you really want on every single relief pitcher but keep working on this uh the train if it doesn't line up to finesse then retrain if you get higher stamina retrain getting into the middle relievers of varus uh 2000 dave varus uh set a man control master or control artist and cleaning up your mess uh train five to stamina again through level 17 uh so you still haven't finished this train yet and he does have set a man of uh, mess uh, I would look for a better skill set, honestly, since you haven't finished the train yet, just because you haven't finished the train, I would definitely try to look for Finesse, Setup Man, Fixer, since he is in the middle relief role, and based on the skills that you land, finish the train, just like Martinez. So same deal as Martinez, get some skills, uh, Mess is okay, but Setup Man is great, you just want two uh, good skills, like Setup Man and Fixer together, those would be great, or Setup Man and Finesse Pitcher, that'd be great as well, so... Uh, work on the skills and then based on that finish the train uh, i'm not sure how you say this, say this guy's name uh, i'm not going to try and butcher it so looking at his base stats though 65 base overall 
Uh, not a terrible card, actually. Just a little bit low on the velocity. Could use a better train, so you know what to do with that. Look for low stamina, dominant pitcher, and last boss. Uh, good skill set to have for middle reliever. So, of course, train for the dominant pitcher bonus. Maybe a little difficult since his velocity is lower, but I think it's doable. It's it's doable if you, if you work hard enough at it. He may not be the best relief pitcher, so you could look to replace him as well. If you don't want to invest into him, I would look for uh, going down that avenue and replacing him rather than wasting points on him. So totally up to you, uh, but Dom and Boss are pretty good skills. And yeah, that train could just use some redoing or you could replace him. I'll leave that up to you. Daniel Ponce de Leon, 2018. Didn't realize he was out of the game, um, but looking at this card, actually pretty high stamina for a relief pitcher, only at level 10. I would look to replace him with another relief pitcher if you can, just because he doesn't have upgrade material. And I'm most confident that this isn't, this isn't the best relief pitcher card. Uh, at all really so uh, he doesn't even have skills either so I wouldn't even bother skill changing him I wouldn't bother retraining him uh, just look to replace him in the future with a better uh, team card that you pull from a team select diamond pack uh, John Brebbia 2018 has some pretty good years with the Cardinals pretty sure this is one of his best years uh, five to stamina train he's in a long relief role finesse pitcher pitching machine uh, honestly what I would do is take Brebbia and throw him in with, um, for Ponce de Leon because Ponce de Leon is going to go in when you're losing. And, you know, who knows? You may end up coming back. I doubt it. But you can always believe and hope. You know, he can come back. I've come back before in games and rank battle. And I think he would do much better. Brebbia would do much better than Ponce de Leon in the middle relief role. So I would personally just switch those two guys around. Finally, Genesis Cabrera 2020 is your closer. 66 base overall. Great velocity on his base stats. 7 to stamina. Just a bit high on the train. Uh, but it's up to you to keep winning streak and finesse pitcher and warmed up hey not a bad skill set at all so definitely keep working on him may want to retrain depending on how much stamina you get on that last train to level 17 uh, i would if you get two to stamina i would definitely retrain him nine to stamina is way too high in my opinion uh, but then again i don't think you're hitting the finesse pitcher bonus with the train either way so i think either way you're probably gonna definitely want to retrain and it's definitely possible to hit finesse pitcher bonus and winning streak and warmed up are great skills to have. Warmed up's not the greatest, but hey, with only facing three batters in the ninth inning, which is the ideal, and hopefully he only faces three batters, um, that's what you want to happen. Winning streak should do the job. Finesse pitcher should do, should do the job. I see nothing wrong with that skill set there. So just a retrain for finesse pitcher is what I would prescribe for Genesis Cabrera. That's going to do it for your entire team, though. Overall, a very impressive team as a free-to-play Cardinals deck. Your trains are on point with your starting pitchers, and yeah, just Wainwright. All that, all that you have to do is really just make sure Wainwright gets a little lower stamina with while getting that finesse pitcher bonus, and you're good to go with that starting rotation. Uh, and finishing up Martinez, of course, the bullpen could use a little help in the back with Ponce de Leon uh, getting replaced, and uh, Palanti. Sorry if I said that wrong, but I just attempted to say it. Uh, but those two could definitely be replaced. Uh, the others have great skills. The batters are on point. Uh, just a few in the back of the batting order like M Ozuna, Wong, and Carlson. Uh, and maybe even, yeah, and DeYoung could use retrains. Uh, Diaz could use more development, but that all comes in due time. Excellent Cardinals team. Thank you so much for letting me review it. If you have any questions, leave a comment. And again, let me know how many home runs Pujols hits. And let me know how uh, Morris does in comparison to, to Dick Hughes. Uh, because you may want to consider... Uh, sorry, I, I exited that. Uh, you may want to consider switching them around. So yeah, that'd be my recommendation for your team. Thank you again for letting me review it. And let's move on now to the final team in today's video. All right, I'm kind of excited for this last team just by the looks of it. But we have Cleve Lol and uh, or Cleve Lowland, however you want to say it. Cleve Lol and however you want to say it. I'm not sure how you say it, but his team is a Guardians. Uh, S set deck with a diamond S set deck. I'm not sure if he's free to play or not, but judging by the looks of his team, I would uh, assume that he is, and he has quite a few SIGs and special cards. And uh, actually, yeah, I definitely know he's not free to play because he bought the Lou Brock and the Mike Piazza Supremes. So I'm sorry, I'm, 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 I'm brain dead right now. But on his bench, he does have a Carlos Santana 17 signature. And looking at the train, personally, I would retrain this for 13 or less just because it's a SIG card, but 14 is not too bad. Uh, and you definitely kind of actually want to go for um, higher power than Contact 2 and I3 or Power 1, I2, Contact 3. But that's just my opinion on this card. You can do whatever you want with it. 
I think the train's good. It could be better, but you know, this it's just a game. You can do what you want. I think it's a good train, but it could definitely be better. Let's just put it at that. Enough of me talking. Let's get on to his team in the batting order. And I don't see this sig. I don't I don't think I've ever seen this sig before. But it's an awesome one. I wish he got a sig for the Red Sox. Mike Napoli, 2016. Excellent grade increase distribution on this base stats card. On the, uh, the base stats of this card, 66 base, and he has 79 base power and 72 eye, 72 contact. Just, I love this card and the way it's uh, designed. Train is 16 to eye, 12 to power, 13 to contact, and, and 16 to the right side is a bit high. So I personally would retrain this, like I said, with Santana. Go for 13 or less to the right side and go for power 1, eye 2, and contact 3. You want to take that power as high as possible to hit as many home runs with this card this is a home this is the definition of a home run hitting card with that base power so you want to make that as best as possible charisma batting machine master base thief uh, uh actually a, pretty much the exact same skill set as an earlier team that i reviewed in the video um pretty sure it was kubanaz on his team uh for his leadoff paul kernerko or it might have been aiden thompson I don't know. I'm forgetting things already, guys. Sorry. But Charisma Batting Machine, Master Base Thief, great leadoff skill set. He'll get on base with Batting Machine, and that'll help him. Master Base Thief uh, at level 1 only uh, doesn't do much, but it will help in a small way. So you could definitely do better on the card with skills and definitely do better on the card with train. Uh, you could definitely take him to Black Diamond and look for a Legend skill set. So you can work on that as time moves on, though. So just I would definitely recommend a retrain for high power, I second, and then contact third. That would be my main priority on that card. Second in the batting order, Red Sox legend Jim Rice. And I wish I had this card. 12 to the right side, 18 to power, 15 to I, 12 to contact. Great job of going I second there because it has so much lower base stats. You could have even gone I1, but I won't judge because that power is just incredible. And then the skills, contact master, slugger instinct, training junkie. Hey, I'd say keep that as an endgame skill set. Of course, training junkie could be better if it were a gold skill, but... If you're looking to use blues on another player to get them a little bit better, I think this is a keeper for the time being until you have extra blues and then definitely look for that third skill, whether that be charisma, spotlight, or even batting machine. Um, Contact master, actually not the most knowledgeable about this skill set, but I think it works. Um, let me know in the comment section down below, guys. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I know contact master is definitely not a top end skill set. Uh, as far as legend skills go, uh, pioneer and bad ball hitter are the ideal. But I think Contact Master, I've seen it used by a couple people and it works well for them from what I've seen. So it's a keeper. You could experiment with it. Just look for that third skill uh, later down the line when you have extra blues. Keep the train. This is a great legend card. Wish I had it on my team, like I said. Now, Supreme Lou Brock Black Diamond. I don't see so many Supreme Lou Brocks on any teams, but this is a great card. And the train looks like you went for that high power. And you went for that incredibly high speed, so he's a speedster, you know, might as well use as much special training points on him for speed as possible and get that power up. And then I gets the second, or I gets the last amount of points of special training, and contact's already high, so they balance out pretty evenly. Not sure how well this card does, I, I don't have a Supreme personally, but he has Batting Machine, 5-2 Player, Slugger Instinct. I think that skill set should do just fine. You could look for a Legend skill set on him, but being Lou Brock it's not the greatest supreme card and who knows you may eventually replace him with a team card in the future um but you know I don't know how much money you spent to get this card so it's up to you I would personally look for a better card to replace him with uh since he does have just high speed high power um and eye in contact probably are going to get nerfed by last boss but with the new update coming in who knows this card may be a beast on the base paths with that 143 speed we'll see Skill set is definitely a keeper. Train is definitely a keeper. I wouldn't change this card. It's a supreme. Can't say much more. Uh, batting fourth in the lineup is a Travis Hafner prime card. Again, another beautiful prime card in this video. Uh, high train to the right side, higher than you'd like. 15, uh, you'd like, again, 13 or less to the right side. Train, I would go for power one, I2, contact three uh, for a retrain, and then Charisma Slugger Instinct Batting Machine great skill set too bad it wasn't higher levels batting machine at level one won't be as effective as if it were at higher levels of course but with this card since it is black diamond uh in the future definitely use premiums and look for a bad ball hitter or pioneer skill set that'd be my suggestion for hafner just to retrain 
and then looking for a legend skill set later down the line. Michael Brantley 2014 is your fifth batter in your lineup. This is a beautiful signature card. Pretty sure it's his best year with the uh, Guardians uh, at the time was the Indians. 14 to the right side, but that eye is undeniably beautiful. 22 to eye. Incredible. Uh, sad you don't get special training points to contact, but somehow contact is still pretty high. Pretty impressive, but 17 power is nice. Uh, just wish that contact were a bit higher. Um, 14 to the right side is also just in, again a tad bit high. 1 above 13. Charisma batting machine reliable. Definitely could do better with the skills, so much like Hafner. Um, might, doesn't really need a retrain, at the same time it does, I don't know, you, I, I'd ideally go for power one, I two contact three because power is so low, and, you know, this looks like a really fun card that you, when you, when you trained it, uh, but, you know, if you want to make it end game, by all means, train for power one, I two contact three, if you want to keep it the way it is, by all means, do what you want. And then skills like Hafner, look for legend skill, pioneer, bad ball hitter later down the line. Frankie Lindor, 2017, pretty sure this is his best year, might be his second best, 19 or 18 might be better, correct me if I'm wrong. Again, similar, this is actually basically the same train as Hafner, um, so what you're going to want to do again, retrain, it's only a normal card, so you might get a better card, but I would retrain this card for power 1, I2, contact 3, 13 or less to the right side. And keep the skills. Since this is a normal card, keep the skills. It's a good enough skill set, charisma, slugger instinct, leg day. No problems with the skills, just might need to retrain. Piazza, Supreme, at only 20 out of 20. So you haven't trained this card to max yet. He has bad ball hitter, so that's an excellent legend skill. Keep using greens on him. Look for charisma, slugger instinct, a spotlight, or batting machine, and you know, barrel it up. And this card will be great. 13 on the right side, great train. Best train I think I've seen so far out of all your cards, uh, besides Jim Rice. Uh, but yeah, Piazza, definitely just look for those skills. Keep the train, it lines up really nicely. 13 or less to the right side is what you want right there, and that's what you've got. So yeah, just needs a uh, green ticket or two, and this card will be perfect. Third, I mean, sorry, not third, eighth in the lineup is a Jose Ramirez 2016. I personally only have 13 to the right side through level 20, which is kind of funny since this is not his best year. Uh, doesn't have the greatest skills either, but I'm pretty sure you know Ramirez has tons and tons of better years. 20 is better, 18 is better, 19 is better, 21 and 22 are better. You could definitely get a better Ramirez card, so keep the train the way it is. Don't special train him. I wouldn't even skill change him. Just look for the better Jose Ramirez cards later on. 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22. Pretty sure all of those are much better. Even 2017 might be better, but I'm not too sure. Just look to replace him with a better uh, Ramirez as you get teams like Diamond Packs uh, in the future. Finally, batting ninth in your lineup. Interesting decision here. Not sure if you have a Cleveland second baseman, maybe Jimenez or Quan. Um, I don't know, but this is a, a decent base stat. Logan Forsyth. He's no longer in the game, so it's pretty cool to see this. I honestly like seeing cards that aren't in the game and looking at their stats he had a pretty good year that year too so he's not a team card don't bother with him i would just keep him in the lineup as a placeholder until you get someone like steven kwan or jimenez and then replace him i'm not even sure if kwan plays second base sorry if i'm i'm, I'm misstating that i know jimenez plays or jimenez or jimenez plays second base but um definitely just keep him in the lineup until you can replace him with a team second baseman now this rotation and that closer looks awesome Looking forward to this. Getting into the starting rotation. Bieber 20, best starting pitcher in this game's history for the Cleveland Guardians. 4 to stamina, 18 velocity, 16 to fastball, 10 to location. Special training is perfect. Lined up for a Dom bonus. You do have Control Master, Boss, and Pitching Machine, though. Would like to see a Dom skill set uh, just because, you know, you have that high location or high, uh, high velocity and high fastball. Uh, but hey, this works out great, and Pitching Machine is a great third skill. Control Master's Endgame. Uh, as your ace, I think this should do just fine. Later on down the line, if you wanted to really get picky, you could train for Velocity 1, Location 2, and Break 3 just to get Break a little bit higher. But that's totally up to you. I personally would do that just so I can get the most out of every stat in this card. And I might even guess that break uh, his Breaking Pitches don't get S-Tier. Uh, not sure what breaking pitches he has, but uh, with 120 break, he might not get S-tier pitches. If he does, though, by all means, keep this train. 
This is an excellent starting pitcher in the ace as your ace, and you can't you you can't do better than Bieber. Uh, maybe Degrom, but I think this is the best card personally in the game as far as starting pitchers go. Excellent job at getting that sig. Second in the rotation, and Kluber 2014. So sad this is in his 2017, but hey, it's still a great sig. 74 base overall, six to stamina, 18 to fastball, 13 to velocity, and then 14 location. Very interesting train here. Looking at the skills, control master, iron will mess. So you're definitely working on skills, and you could definitely readjust the train based on those skills. So I would keep using green tickets on this control masters, the end game. Uh, top tier legend skill so look for finesse pitcher dominant pitcher and last boss and untouchable and uh, mess is only a third skill so just look for that as a third in that case but based on those skills that you do get from the green tickets then retrain accordingly this is a messy train it's a good train but it's a messy train you'd like to see velocity higher since it is low and you would definitely like to see uh, something like location too um or this is basically the perfect card for finesse pitcher bonus so finesse pitcher would be the ideal skill set but again like i said depending on how your skills come out base that uh base your train on those skills and this card is going to dominate for you third in the rotation is zach please act 2020 card didn't know his card was actually this good four to stamina through level 18 a very high right side train though um i don't know i mean with the new update this train might be a good train, so keep the train for now. And then looking at the skills, finesse, cleaning up your mess. Uh, might hit the finesse pitcher bonus. Uh, might not actually, so I don't know what you want to do with this card. I would personally retrain him once you, you know, I would just retrain him. I, four stamina is hard to give up, but that right side is just way too high. I've had trains like this before, and I've had to, you know fight my will and retrain them because it's four to stamina it's so good but you know you have to get that high left side and with finesse pitcher and mess you definitely want to hit the finesse pitcher bonus mess is an okay second skill and firefighter doesn't do anything so you may even consider reskilling him uh, but that'd be my suggestion retraining him and then maybe even just reskilling him for better uh, a better second skill mess is okay but it's not going to be you know the greatest because it's not always active so that'd be my suggestion for please act great base card overall you know just could use a better train and some better skills bauer 18 not a card you see too often anymore nobody's interested in signing him so it doesn't look like he's going to be back in the game anytime soon train though is again a bit sloppy special training with lineup to fastball one velocity two and then break three very interesting there um and then the skills pitching machine mass control artist so yeah i would just do a rehaul on this card change the skills look for finesse pitcher dominant pitcher last boss untouchable and look for uh, a train based off of those skills that you land so that'd be my suggestion for bauer clevenger 19 best year with the guardians again another very interesting train here seven to stamina 24 to fastball 11 to velocity that break is suffering man 68 base break and only two uh i would honestly just retrain this Un untouchable winning streak and pitching machine um yeah, you're definitely going to need to reskill him and just, yeah, like I said with Bauer, uh, please act Bauer and Clevenger all need the same treatment, reskilling and retraining based on the skills. I'll just put it at that for you. Not to critique and, uh, you know, I, 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 I'm just critiquing that because that's what I would do for my team and to make it the best possible. I just want to help you out in that way. I hope you don't take that wrong as these cards are bad. They're great cards. Uh, they could just be so much better if you retrain them and reskilled them. Oliver Perez 2018 had an insane year with the Guardians uh in this year. Uh skills triple 3 skill set. So hey, you may want to use extra greens on this in the future and if you do end up using greens, I've had success with green tickets on my Blue Jays team. Uh check out those videos if you haven't already, but uh you could use greens and look for winning streak, setup man, last boss, finesse pitcher, any of those skills would be great. And then based on those skills again uh, the train could be a little bit better with lower stamina and you'd want location to be second because it's so low and this is only a normal card so use green tickets eventually on this card if you have extra of them and then once you get those skills retrain him based on those skills raleigh fingers legend very nice legend right here hey this is a great train okay forget what i said about those other trains let's focus on this card this card is a great train 18 velocity 15 location 10 fastball and 10 to break 
skill set, finesse pitcher, golden pitcher, strong mentality. So I wouldn't use green tickets on this. Honestly, what I would do with this card is get it to black diamond. And once you get this card to black diamond, look for pitcher's chemistry. And if you don't land pitcher's chemistry and you land something like control master or bullpen day, then keep the train, adjust him to his skills and then you know work him out into the setup role something like finesse pitcher winning streak control master get something like that and he's end game if you land pitcher's chemistry though keep the train and just throw him in the, throw him in the, you know throw him into the long relief role and replace joe smith so that would be my suggestion for all fingers and yeah let's just move on to the middle relievers now i'm taking it long enough carlos carrasco best base overall um reliever for the cleveland guardians uh 61 stamina kind of boosts that up a bit but we won't talk about that Four to stamina, very nice through level 20. Uh, that fastball has 16, so it's going to get the first special training points. Really want to see velocity and location get the first and second special training points. But the skills, mess, boss, and iron will. Uh, not a terrible skill set, to be honest. I would, I would honestly suggest maxing out boss and iron will just because iron will um, assumes the fact that you've allowed hitters to get on base previously. So this skill will be active to those players, and he's going to be coming in when you're losing. So the chances are that those players have gotten on base and scored runs, so Iron Will will be more likely to be active. Mess will only be active if you allow base runners, and you don't want to be allowing base runners. So, Train, Forte Stamina, again, it's beautiful, but you want Velocity and Location to get priorities. A 1 and 2 to Special Training, especially since you don't have a Finesse Pitcher or Dominant Pitcher skill. Um, you want a high left side train so just to retrain and then maximize uh, the skills re uh, use a skill reset and go for boss iron will and then mess uh, so max out boss and iron will then short mess uh, at whatever level that you can uh, so yeah that'd be my suggestion for carrasco dan otero prime don't see this card that often either uh, very good card for him 67 base overall six to stamina another very mixed train uh, 19 velocity, 12 break, and 11 location. Finesse, in eater, and boss. Doesn't get the finesse pitcher bonus, so you're definitely going to want to retrain him for finesse. And I would keep this skill set. In eater is not going to be effective, but he's in middle relief, so keep him there. Just retrain for finesse pitcher. Emmanuel Class A. Excellent uh, closing pitcher. Best closing pitcher in the American League. 7 to stamina. 14 the velocity, 13 location, and then 12 to break. Again, would like to see that location get special training points, but yeah, that's up to you to retrain him. And then reskilling him, I would just use skill changes, look for uh, a fixer skill set, uh, even look to possibly put him in the setup role, uh, just because his base stats are better than Raleigh Fingers. And if you land pitcher's chemistry on Raleigh, you can throw him into the, you know, long relief role, or if you land. Uh, bullpen day you could throw him into the middle relief role he'd work either way with that legend skill but for class a i would retrain him down the line and then just look for a skill set then if he gets a setup man skill set with winning streak setup man and you know boss or something throw him into the setup role if he gets fixer with a good uh, second or third skill keep him in the middle relief role that'd be my suggestion for class a and then smith 17 another great cleveland guardians relief pitcher uh not the greatest train though He's in long relief. I won't even bother uh, suggesting anything on him. Just could use a retrain, and if you wanted to, you could re uh, reskill him for better skills. But long relief roll, don't care about him that much. Now, finally, I want to see this card. Miller 17. Too bad this wasn't his 16, but this is a good train right here. 20 to the location, 13 to velocity, 12 to fastball. You have the special training on point, and 6 stamina is pretty good. Then the skills, winning streak, finesse pitcher, power pitcher, Power Pitcher will affect the Finesse Pitcher bonus, um, and you don't hit the Finesse Pitcher bonus, so... Uh, sadly, gonna have to recommend a retrain. Go for Location 1, and if you can, Velocity 2, Break 3, or go Location 1, Break 2, and then Velocity 3. Again, for the Finesse Pitcher and Dominant Pitcher bonuses, you want to look for 15 or more Location and Break than Velocity and Fastball combined. So when you add up all the points, Location and Break need to be 15 points higher, and velocity and fastball if you didn't know that already just wanted to make that clear but this is a good skill set for a closer it could be better it definitely can be better so in the backup uh, skill slot storage look for a legend skill set hopefully you can get bullpen day or control master and yeah get winning streak finesse pitcher setup man 
and this card is going to be endgame. Overall, loved reviewing your team, saw some very nice cards, and actually let me check out this Tramel. You do have batter's chemistry, so props to you for that. Um, that's a great achievement right there. So definitely work on black diamonding Raleigh fingers and trying to get pitcher's chemistry. And then really what you need to do is fix all the messy trains, uh, get Forsyth out of the lineup, look to replace him with a team card. And yeah, that's basically all there is to it. You can add SIGs to third base shortstop and uh, second base even, or and you can finally fill out that rotation. Definitely work on fixing the rotation first and foremost. So I would definitely suggest getting Plezak, Bauer, and Clevenger all straightened out because starting pitching is key in this game. And if your pitchers aren't in line, your batters aren't going to pick them up uh, if the opposing team's pitchers are good. So just work on starting pitching, get those trains, you know, fixed and worked out. That's all I have to say for your team, though. Thank you again for letting me review your team. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. And yeah, feel free to ask me any questions if you have. But that's going to do it for today's video. Let's get into the outro and important reminders. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Again, if you want to be part of the showcase series, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Leave your team name down below in a comment requesting to be showcased. And last but not least, and most importantly, don't forget to send a friend request to my alternate team, Laddie Boy. So with all that said and done, don't forget to leave a like down below, hit share and subscribe. And I will see you guys all in the next video.